I'm Caitlin, and I graduated from Wofford College this past year and will begin work on my doctorate in public history at Appalachian State University this fall. I took an inter internship for a few weeks this summer with Citizens for Nuclear Technology Awareness, or CNTA. CNTA is a charitable corporation dedicated to promoting STEM, or science, technology, engineering, and math, and to educating the public about all things nuclear. I've only been here for a few days, but already I'm amazed to learn some of the things we were always told about nuclear energy just aren't true. For example, the fissioning of just one atom of uranium releases millions of times more energy than burning one carbon atom without releasing greenhouse gases. Physically, you can see what this means when I show you this model of a nuclear fuel rod. I unscrew the end of the rod and take out one fuel pellet. Now, this pellet can provide nearly all of the electricity one person needs for a year. After a lifetime of, say, 80 years, you could put all of one person's nuclear waste in my CNTA coffee cup with room to spare. We were going to say a lifetime of 70 years, but the executive director of CNTA is pushing 70 and he insisted on 80 years. And if we recycled this fuel and used fast reactor technology, this pellet would represent enough electricity for 20 people for nearly a year. The point is, I always heard that we were awash in high level nuclear waste and that is a big problem. Really?